This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm reporting from Orlando at the annual scientific sessions of the American College of Cardiology. I'm speaking with Professor Germano Di Sassio, who is a professor and director of the Department of Cardiovascular Science at the Policlinico University in Rome. And uh, this morning, uh, Dr. DeSasio at the meeting reported on treating patients with two loading doses of atorvastatin prior to their PCI procedure. And these were patients who were already on an established statin regimen prior to coming in for their procedure. And so, Dr. DeSasio, if you could briefly describe what was the effect you saw of this treatment? Yes, uh, we applied this treatment to patients who are already on chronic statin therapy for the reason that this patient population is uh, increasing nowadays in our cardiology departments. What we did, we applied the protocol of 80 milligrams of atorvastatin given 12 hours prior to the procedure, followed by 40 milligrams given approximately two hours prior to PCI, and uh, we evaluated the, the instance of periprocedural MI and the follow-up for 30 days, the 30-day maze of MI, death, and target vessel vascularization. What we found was that the general population of chronic statin users did benefit from this additional reload with a high dose of atorvastatin with an incidence of maize going down from 9.1 to 3.4 percent. When we looked at the uh, population subgroups according to clinical presentations, we found that while patients with stable angina had a non-significant benefit, patients with sta unstable angina had a very significant benefit from this approach, with MACE going down from approximately 14% to 2.5%. So basically our conclusion was that uh, even patients who are on chronic therapy can benefit from a further boost of statin uh, load or bolus, so to speak, prior to a PCI procedure. And also, especially the unstable patients, who are the sickest patient, of course, are the ones who benefit most from this potent uh, load of uh, anti-inflammatory or maybe anti-thrombotic uh, therapy, which is represented by statins in this setting, i.e. the pleiotropic effects. Right, so uh, going forward, it seems as though it's particularly the acute coronary syndrome patients who yes. might benefit the most from this. And so this study was somewhat small, about 300 patients. 352 patients. So um, where do you see as the next step in developing this approach to treatment? Well, the next step would be to uh, evaluate uh, what is the clinical significance of periprocedural MI, in particular the extent of periprocedural MI measured by uh, MRI, and also to see in the long term uh, what type of consequences this, ter this the, the, the diminution of periprocedural MI will have in terms of survival and left ventricular heart function. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in some of the discussion today, you were actually suggesting that uh, the finding and the experience generally with the protective effect of statins in the patients undergoing PCI suggests a, uh, a value for patients simply on their own if they already have statins on hand because they're prescribed them to take one at the time when they have uh, chest pain and so on yes. and they're calling their physician or an ambulance. We have been advocating an early and upstream atorvastatin treatment in uh, patients who present with a uh, coronary syndrome, acute coronary syndrome, even STEMI. We believe that a statin load is part of the first-line treatment in patients who have uh, an acute coronary syndrome. And uh, statin probably should be given the same way that aspirin is given at the first medical contact or a beta blocker or other antithrombotic agents like clopidogrel, for example. Yes. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Dr. DeSasio. This you. is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network reporting at the annual scientific session of the American College of Cardiology.